it is 7 47 and it's a sunday i woke up at 5 45 i didn't ask for this then i woke up at 6 15 didn't ask for that either i don't know what's been going on i like wake up so early which i consider that to be like the middle of the night five that's the middle of the night but like i have like super intense dreams like detailed i don't know what that means if someone is like a dream expert let me know because like detailed with like so many people and i remember it so clearly feels like it actually happened like those types of dreams but i'm kind of thinking of like going to the farmer's market right now i'll get way better produce than getting there like at 11 and i want to get some like heirloom tomatoes because i just want to have like nice tomatoes that's like super specific but like you can't find good tomatoes at the grocery store sadly and then my matcha jar broke so i want to get a new one and a new straw maybe if i can find like a gluten-free sourdough my mom is gluten-free so i've been trying to find a lot of alternatives for her i want to make her like a gluten-free pumpkin bread but we had like a super crazy family dinner last night so i don't know if anyone wants a full gluten-free bread but should we just go to the farmer's market i just want to go in sweats and grab the things i need you're coming along for the ride we have arrived that was the fastest drive of my entire life there's no traffic in the morning it's actually crazy but yeah let's go on our adventure and grab some goodies the farmer's market opened 20 minutes ago and i've never been this early it's such a beautiful peaceful day out the meters don't turn on till 11 free parking i fully brought an entire tote bag to fill and i'm so stoked right now it's so pretty out gluten-free bread i'm so excited yeah. look at this i would say that is the most successful farmer's market trip i've ever had in my life i can't see anything but i literally got so much produce i'm excited to go home and make a really good breakfast also my little ootd obsessed i thought i would give you a little haul of what i got because i never get this much stuff i kind of want to do this more often and grab more produce i didn't know exactly what i would need for the week but i kind of want to like start scheduling out my week and meals and then i can like grab some new stuff but for now i'm going to show you what i got this is a gluten-free sourdough all it has is brown rice flour flaxseed flax husk and himalayan pink salt which i think is actually crazy how this is made it's quite dense so we're gonna crispen this up a lot because i don't think it would taste the best if it's not completely toasted next thing in my haul these are the cashews from gillen i got these two weeks ago or three weeks ago they're the best cashews i've ever had so i'm very excited that i have these again although they're going to last me maybe Maybe one day which is an issue because I have no self-control when it comes to cashews but they're roasted and salted which I think are the best like unsalted it's not very exciting I never do this but I just thought it was needed and they looked super good I got strawberries raspberries and blackberries I'm trying to show you without them falling we're gonna have a good breakfast today five tomatoes I'm only taking out three because I can only carry three at a time but I got tomatoes I've been wanting tomatoes from the farmers market for the longest time because I see them everywhere I look on TikTok, like every Sunday so I was like I need them because because anytime I have tomatoes from the grocery store, they're just like sweet. They're not good. So these look crunchy and like flavorful. So we're going to try them out today. Look at how cute. It's strawberry and hearts. I swear every time I go to the farmer's market, my haul gets bigger and bigger. I think I'm going to make some sourdough bread with butter and then slice some tomatoes on the side with flaky salt and have some berries and a matcha. <gasps> That's insane. I'm so excited for my tomato. Oh my god. This is actually the best breakfast I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, best Sunday ever. I'm gonna make some breakfast for my family because everyone's starving. So I will see you guys later. We're currently at the nail salon. What's the next step, Danny? Admire. <laughs> Good? 
Look at these nails. Wow. We have arrived to Whole Foods. We're gonna get some groceries. I don't know why we're at Whole Foods. My mom decided to branch out today because I guess the Air One and the Trader Joe's isn't working for her. We need like different variety. We do exactly. eat the same thing like basically exactly. every day. I don't know what my mom is exactly looking for at Whole Foods, but I've come along for her ride. Mom, you're li <gasps> You scared me! <laughs> Literally. My mom is convinced we're gonna find these like magnificent new items here. <laughs> so we're gonna go and see. Hi, a rough start, a rough start. So far we have one item. These honey crisp apples just look too good to pass up. So far we have salmon. Don't like cod, she doesn't want shrimp. I haven't been to Whole Foods in the longest time that the fact like the aisles are so pretty, I didn't know this. We have salmon, chicken, turkey, and vitamin C. Tell me, we couldn't get that anywhere else? No? We had to come to Whole Foods. In another life, I would be a cashier. Honestly, like we kind of demolished. We could have gotten all these items at the normal grocery store but i think we just needed a change of environment a change of scenery we needed some inspiration for some new recipes so that's what we did we actually got like instead of pulled pork we just got like brisket and then we're gonna shred it and then we found siete it's like a brand of like healthy alternative chips and they have a carnita seasoning so we're gonna make that we got salmon we got chicken oh we got riced cauliflower so in la there's a place called zinc and they have the best bowls and they use cauliflower rice so we're gonna try that out we just got like some new things to try because we eat the same thing and everyone's over it we're done with our like specific groceries like specialty items i'm going to the shoe lab because i have a pair of cortezes that literally are destroyed when we came back from mexico city the lady like i had to get searched like i was picked randomly from like literally 600 people i sobbed okay but she went like this because she thought i had in my shoes or something and they literally are like falling apart so i want to see if he can fix them and then i have a bag that's super dirty although i just got these uggs okay also they're so cute i'll link them down below these are my old uggs and i got momofuku chili and if you guys know <laughs> <laughs> like the girl that like does caviar on tiktok like had that thing with the muscles and the momofuku chili what the hell that thing was i spilled it on my uggs and then i tried scraping it water it ruined it so maybe he's gonna look at me being like you can't get rid of this stuff but we're gonna go i'll be right back the guy from shoe lab literally made fun of my uggs he's like what happened to them i was like you know what it's a long story like can you fix them he's like to be honest like i don't know he's like i'm gonna try they might be like a little bit darker depending if i can like color them if i need to clean them whatever it may be i go listen I, 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 I. The wall. Sorry, I'm the worst passenger when it comes to my family. I was talking about this earlier with mom because I also was freaking out. I told him, I go, listen, I have a new pair, but I wanted to come and see, like, what you got. Like, let's see if you can fix them. He also made fun of my broken Cortezes. The lady at Customs in Mexico City literally destroyed my mental health. I was one of 400 flyers and she made me take my shoes off. She made me take my hair out of my bun. Yeah. Because she thought I stored coke in my freaking head i was like lady i'm not that girl like i'm not they went through my bag like rummaging through my bag like oh, her, her, her. she decided like to crank that soldier boy with my shoe like she <laughs> took my cortez and went like this with my shoe like what would i keep in the freaking inside of my shoe i didn't even know people stored in there freaking profiled me just because i'm mexi after literally like ripping my bag apart like she nearly chucked my computer across the room she grabs a pair of sunglasses and then like reads the logo and then gave up on looking through my stuff was like okay you're good i was having anxiety because i was like why do you think me of all people but now allegra was like oh you're going somewhere you know what i'm gonna fully get ready because i need a photo shoot session so we're currently going to a lookout mountain guys pray for, for us yeah listen job. okay allegra's only really good with like high professional shoots this outfit she's worn maybe nine times for photos that still haven't come out but maybe today's the day maybe today. also she hates how i take her photos so no, i don't no, know no. why i'm sending you energy you're the best photographer ever you you have such mad skills the amount of times i've been cussed out she's like do you not even know how to take a photo no and then the i get angle, and then, and, but you know what <laughs> just in case if it's too dark i brought a light all of them are blurry on the face no full photographer I don't know if my client likes her photos, but I think I'm doing a pretty good job. There's also like some tambourine lesson to my left. I don't even know where we are. I think the photos look pretty fire. Just saying, me personally, but you never know what the client wants, you know? I haven't done a ballet class in so long, but like I'm convinced. Did we get it? No? I'll, I'll see you later.